So this is an example of somebody wants the item, whether it works or not. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're going to talk about my bread and butter bolos items that I sold on eBay for $35 or less. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. So we are going to get started right now with the first one. And these are a set of four uh, Flintstones cookie cutters from 1994. They are vintage. And again, these are my bread and butter bolos, not my big money bolos. If you want to see my big money bolos, and bolo stands for be on the lookout, you can check out my big money bolo videos. Uh, the first one here, I sold this for $12.40. The buyer paid tax and shipping on that. So they were all in for $20.57. And I picked these up at the Goodwill bins by weight. So probably about maybe a buck, maybe less than these. This one is really cool. And I really, when I first saw it, thought it was going to go for bigger money than it went for. It ended up just being a bread and butter. I was thinking it could possibly be a big money bolo when I got it just because it was vintage and it had to do with monsters and it was Halloween, but, uh, and 3D at that, right? With the glasses, really cool piece. Um, I got this in a thrift store mystery box and I ended up selling it for a best offer of $10 and the buyer paid shipping. So, uh, mystery boxes that I would get at my thrift store. Don't really get them anymore. Uh, usually really good deals on those. So probably a dollar or less in this. There was an old lady who swallowed a, and there are all these different, sh uh, books with, uh, CDs. Some of them have CDs that go with them. Read alongs. That's the word I'm looking for. And so they're like audio CDs. And these were from a teacher. I got these at a garage sale mm, a couple summers ago, paid $3 for all of them and sold them for a best offer of 30 plus shipping. So they were from a teacher's classroom. So they did have um, the teacher's name on the book. So uh, that may have hurt the value a bit. This is a 1995 The Cat's Meow Village accessory piece, a uh, Rubbermaid train car wood. So these are little uh, village pieces. They're just wood and they all have a cat. That's how you know it's Cat's Meow. And they are also marked usually on the back with the Cat's Meow and a date. And I sold this one for $9.75 and the buyer paid shipping. Always a good idea to show the condition of the item. You can see I showed the sides, the top, the bottom, because a lot of times uh, people collect these and they want them to be in a certain type of condition to fit their aesthetic. Vintage Rocking Horse Pencil Sharpener. This is a bundle. And this little Boyd's Collection plush ornament. And this little Boyd's, um, is this a Boyd's? No, this is a tie. I'm sorry. This is a tie. And it is a Jingle Beanies. I don't know if you've ever seen these before. There's the little tag. So they bought all three of these items all in for $24.94 with tax and shipping and discounts. And it was $19.50 for the three items. So that, I believe, was a viewer sale. So if you're watching, thank you so much. I appreciate you greatly. This one here is an Allied Lamb Sheep Plush Huggable Irish Shamrock Stuffed Animal. New with tags, but I put used on anything that is not new from a store that is plush because it is plush. So I want the person buying it to know that I am not the original owner. And I got this for free. So I'm thinking this might have been in the bundle that I got from. The gal that reached out to me that watches the channel who lives locally and she gave me a bunch of plush for free. I think this came from her. So if you're watching, thank you. You know who you are. And I got this. So free. Sold it for 15 plus shipping. Cute little plush stuffed animal. And I'm guessing that one probably sold before St. Patrick's Day. This is a vintage apron. It's reversible. And I think my keywords were horrible because this thing took forever to sell and it is pure awesomeness. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And it took forever to sell. I ended up taking a best offer of $18 for it and it 
buyer was all in for twenty eight sixty eight, and I don't even remember where I got it or what I paid for it because I've had it forever. Uh, but I do think keywords is really important on things like this, and I don't think I did very good. Vintage apron reversible women's. <laughs> what keywords would you have used for this apron? Let me know down in the comments. Now, this one's just ridiculous. You guys are probably like, why did you pick this up? I, I honestly, I don't know. But sometimes I like to pick up weird things. I thought it would be a great cake topper. It could have been in a bundle of toys that I got. I could have pulled it out of the bins. I did not mark this one, but I sold it for $6.50. And you can see it is signed here on the back, Universal Studi Studios Bakery Crafts. So this is indeed a cake topper. And there you go. It's Curious George. The next one is a vintage Hallmark grandson teddy bear sled ornament. Now, again, harder to sell. It's a 1999 grandson dated on the sled ornament. Okay, you're probably not going to be getting your door knocked over for this item. But it did sell. I sold it for $7.02 and the buyer was all in for $13.48 and I got that out of a thrift store Christmas box. Peeps Yellow Pink Plush Stuffed Chick Easter Toy Bean Bag 2005 Retired with Tags. Again, condition used. That's just a personal preference for me. A lot of people still put new with tags on items that are new with tags. Again, for plush, I do not. I got these at the Goodwill bins and I sold them for a best offer of $12 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, knock your socks off maybe, the two Connects balls. So I bought a big Connects set and I believe these were a part of that. And let's see, I did not put, but I want to say it was from one of the Connects sets I got and I parted out the two balls. And I sold these two balls for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. 10 bucks, guys, for two balls. So definitely parting out connect sets can be profitable. It does the, more long tail because you got to find the right buyer. But you can make a lot of money doing it. Uh, this is a Cruel. No, Cruel. Cruel. I always say that wrong. It's a cruel kit and it's this little puppy dog and it's by Columbia Minerva and it's vintage. I got this at a garage sale for a dollar and sold it for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a vintage even flow eight ounce glass baby bottle with plastic lid that I got from a garage sale for a buck and I sold this for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. Creative memories photo sharing card black. Uh, four by six. So I don't know why I put black. I wonder if it's black or if I messed up. Does it say on it? Sometimes I do, um, sell similar and I may have forgot to change the color. I'm not sure, but either way they bought it for $12 and 40 cents and the buyer paid shipping. And I got it at a garage sale for a dollar. Anything creative memories, I usually do pretty well on. If I can pick it up cheap, I will buy it. That one, uh, this was definitely more long tail. These are Overland Mink Adjustable Rings, lot of three, and they came in the original packaging, but I just didn't think that did it justice. So I went ahead and pulled them out and showed what they looked like right there. Retailed for $39. I got these at a garage sale for four bucks, took a best offer of 22 plus shipping. B baby gunned buggy gigglers plush bug activity toy sound box does not work. I'm pretty sure I ran this one through the washing machine and uh, yeah, of course the sound didn't work after that. But anyway, I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents, sold it for $9 and 30 cents and the buyer paid shipping. So this is an example of somebody wants the item, whether it works or not. This is a Ben 10 Ultimate Alien 6-6 action figure. And I got this one at a garage sale for 50 cents, sold it for $9.30 plus shipping. A lot of times I pick up these action figures. I have no idea what they are. I have to use Google Lens. Google Lens is free, you guys. If you're not using it, definitely check it out. I do have a video that shows you how to use Google Lens. 
type in Bolo Buddies Google Lens into the uh, YouTube search bar and it'll pull up that video for you. DMC Embroidery Floss. And I have a whole bunch of these. I only have three left in this color. So what I did is I took, um, I got a bunch of this at an estate sale. It was a, uh, a living estate and they were just toting stuff up for me, okay? And I got a whole bunch of embroidery floss. Lots of colors that were the same in big bags. So what I did is I parted them out into 12 uh, piece lots. So right here, they bought three packs of 12 for $33.48. And they ended up getting this color and that color and this color. So you can see I'm out of stock on the green, out of stock on that color, and I still have three available there. But I have other colors available in my store. So a lot of people are bundling these up by adding them to their cart. So that is that. Here are these vintage Hayward cufflinks, 120th 12 karat gold filled red accent gold tone. These came out of a dibble box that I bought a long time ago from uh, Donatella when she sold on YouTube. She is now selling on Whatnot, so check her out over there. And I sold these for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a 1997 Build-A-Bear Workshop medium brown little cub stuffed plush. So this one's a little bit smaller. Again, new with tags, marked used. Got it at the Goodwill for a buck, sold it for $18.60 and the buyer paid shipping, and it was originally $10. The next item are these Vintage Cabbage Patch Kids Disposable Four Plastic Diapers Damaged. I got these free at a garage sale, and I said, why not? Maybe somebody's going to want the graphic. I have no idea. They're damaged, guys. And I still sold them for $13 and the buyer paid shipping. They were all in for $22.95 for these damaged Cabbage Patch vintage diapers. So uh, I just wanted to see if I could do it. I wanted to see if I could sell it, and I did. Uh, Batgirl DC Superhero Girls Christmas Stocking. I got this out of a thrift store mystery box, and I sold it for $11.70 in the buyer paid shipping. This is a Mattel 2011 Girls Monster High Skirt. And I don't remember where I got this, probably at a garage sale. A lot of times I'll pick up little costumes and stuff like that if I find them cheap at garage sales. Sold this for $19.49 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is a replacement part for the 2012 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sewer layer replacement part. This is number 11 and it's the red wall. And if you look here, do I show it? They're actually numbered on the back somewhere, I think. Can't find it now. It's too small. Put pieces for numbers and put that in your title because a lot of times people will be looking for those actual numbers. Sold that for 1004 plus shipping. The last item also came out of a dibble box and it was from Donatella. Amazing steals and deals purchased a dibble box from Donatella Bottolino for me. And this is one of the items that was in it. Would you have thought that these would be worth money? Let me know down in the comments. They are vintage Hess gasoline advertising pin back buttons. Ask me lot of two. I sold these for $24.80 and the buyer paid shipping. Uh, you guys definitely check out Amazing Steals and Deals on eBay. Oh my goodness. His store is incredible. And um, he he's definitely a bolo finder. So check him out. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.